from Red Rock in Las Vegas. We're here for the title matches of today's JBT event. We've got three divisions going on at once today. Straight in front of the right here is the handicap division where uh, two young ladies who traveled up together from the Phoenix area have made the title match here. It's Destiny Johnson in the red and Abby Franklin in the light blue on the right here. Abby has to beat Destiny by 15 pins to win, to tie rather, and 16 to win. That's a third frame spare for Franklin. Over to the left is the scratch division where Ben Canfield and Cortez Shank are playing each other for a title for the first time ever. It has an 18 time champion already at just uh, 15, 14 years old. While Ben, uh, the number of titles he has is completely up for debate between the people behind here at least. He's a seven time winner officially. Steve begs to differ because he's snuck out two cheapy titles in Steve's view. That's all right, it's uh, our view that counts here. Either way, it should be a good one on a pretty challenging shark lane condition. Didn't play like your traditional shark in that it wasn't really super oily and there wasn't a super oily out of bounds to the right, but the general characteristics of shark still prevailed. You couldn't just pitch it out to the right and not a lot of hold in the middle either led to a minus 50 cut today. Much lower than yesterday, much lower scoring pace. But uh, these are the two that have had the best look. Tez has had the best look all day. Ben really got it going in the match play portions today. You see Tez crush two racks there. That makes it a three bagger through the sixth frame. Gets him out to a 20 pin lead. Let's pick your poison today. So the highest seed each round got to choose who they wanted to bowl. Newcomer to our tour, Brendan Thomas was the top seed after five and uh, got a buy-in round one, and then lost his first round that he had to bowl the second round of the event, so he still finished in the top five. That's a good advantage of being the one seed there. As Abby uh, does the full body slap it out a little too soon, <laughs> and leaves an eight pin over there. Destiny, rather. Two young ladies, are, Abby throws the ball dead straight. Ab uh, Destiny throws a little bit of a backup ball. You don't have to be old. You don't have to be this high average bowler to do well. Week in, week out, we see these younger, lower average bowlers that like to compete as well, coming out and doing well with us. There she has the uh, successful dance. <laughs> Spares that up. Meanwhile, Canfield leaves a ring in 10, and that was with a strike working in his sixth frame. That was a brutal ring 10 right there. Oh. Franklin chops the five up to the eight and she can't believe it. She's beside herself. She still can't believe it. <laughs> Looks back at us and can't believe it. Meanwhile, way over to the right, Crystal Pineda and Randy Spieler are playing in the women's series. Randy had a fantastic weekend. Just missed the main cut today, but finished second in the scratch division yesterday and won the women's series. So she's trying to sweep the girls' titles on the weekend. Meanwhile, Crystal just finished her highest performance of her career in the main division, finishing uh, third or fourth. Third in the handicap main division. In the channel for Destiny there, also a little bit of history on the line. If Destiny can win, she will become one, a part of the per first ever parent-child combo to win a JBT event out west. It's happened plenty of times out east as they've been going at it for close to 40 years out there. This is our 18th season. But no one's pulled the trick back here. Uh, Brian and Corbin Hirsch have come closest. Corbin has a title, but Dad Brian only had a fourth in his career. Abby looking for the win to join Pop Ray as JBT Titleist. No one's done it yet. And there's a big strike for Abby in the eighth frame. She has to win by 15 and she trails by nine as Tez rings a 10 that would have put a hammer lock in this match. And she'll continue to trail by nine as Destiny picks up the tricky little double wood. That's not very easy to do. Not a high scoring game there over there in the ladies so far. Randy will trail by 12 after that spare conversion here. Big shots as we head down the tail end the handicap. And oh, lucky to get that seven pin out. An expressive young lady. You know from her face whether she's done something good or not. Oh, and there's a huge strike in the ninth for Franklin. My goodness. Waiting ticket. 
Big crowd here after a mostly open frame through the first seven frames. Abby and Destiny both coming up clutch here in the ninth and tenth, and she's going to spare up at 6-10 in the ninth. So good stuff here at the tail end. She trails by nine, Abby does, and has to give another 15. So it's 24 pin lead is usually enough for Destiny to win, but you never know with these lower averages. However, Johnson throws a good ball in the tenth. That eight should wrap it up. They're going at light speed as the younger ones tend to do. Whoa! What? <laughs> I love her reactions. <laughs> oh, did you? Well, it worked. Okay, Destiny misses that spare for 134, which is 212 with pins. Abby doesn't even know she's up again. It's all falling apart here at the beautiful Red Rock. Canfield with a must strike. He gets the light hit to carry. That keeps it a match over there. It's 10 pins now only between Ben and Tez. The best Fr uh, Franklin can do is 139, which won't be enough. So Destiny in the red on the right, and this guy right here in our 18th season become the first ever parent-child JBT champions in the West Coast. What a proud moment for them. Remember this guy used to crank it up the left side? Is that what you're teaching her to throw a backup ball? You want to semi-lefty? <laughs> All right, just checking. <laughs> nice to see a good hug. Well bowled game out of both of them, but Destiny by 11 pins, you got it. You are the champion today. You are the very happy runner. Nothing wrong with that. Are you both going to survive? Is this friendship going to survive? <laughs> Eventually? You think about it? All right, I, I think it will too. You both did great. Very good.